Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the default shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Now if you are missing the original shapes in Photoshop, you can see here that I have the custom shape tool selected and when I open up the shapes panel, the shapes that I'm used to seeing in older versions of Photoshop aren't here. So you may be tempted to go out to this fly out menu and choose append default shapes thinking that that is going to give you the default shapes. So I'm just going to click OK to do that and the problem is that I have just reloaded the new default shape. So I actually have two lots of wild animals, leaf, trees and so on. Now when I come to try and get rid of them, if I right click on these groups of shapes, you can see that I can't delete them. If I open up the panel and try and right click on any of these, I can't delete them. And so I'm left a little bit frustrated because I've got a shape panel that A doesn't have the shapes that I'm looking for and B has two of everything that I didn't want in the first place. So this is what you're going to do in the first instance. You're going to Window and then Shapes because there's another Shapes panel here in Photoshop. And here is where we see the double sets of everything. Here I can right click on one of these groups and just delete it. And I'm actually going to Control or Command click on three of these groups and just delete them all. So now I'm back to just the groups of shapes that I had originally in Photoshop. I'm fine to have one of everything, but two of everything without being able to delete them was a little bit of a nuisance. Now the secret to those other missing shapes is in this dialog. When I go to the fly out menu, you'll see that we've got this, what is incredibly dangerous append default shapes option, because all that's going to do is double up these shapes here. I don't want to technically import shapes because I don't know where they are, the legacy shapes, but you know what, here's legacy shapes. So what I'm going to do is add in the legacy shapes and more. And then when I open up this panel, I've got 2019 shapes and I've got all the legacy default shapes. So you're going to be able to get back to the shapes that you're used to having in Photoshop. They're somewhat inconveniently now packaged inside little folders here. So it makes it a little bit time consuming to find what you're looking for, but they are there. Before we finish up, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you're now able to manage shapes in Photoshop a little better. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.